Okay, thank you from my part, uh, Luis Fontes, and all the parties, all uh, um, the organizers, for uh, inviting me to be here. I would like to present you another point of the subject because I'm not a forester. I'm a psychologist and I did my MSc in ecology and my PhD in social anthropology. Although I have uh, my supervisor, Jenny Wong, who is a forester, and my husband, who is a forester too. So, uh, the idea of this study was, uh, first of all, to explore changing association with nature derived from the evaluation of common trees in mountain areas, to investigate the conceptualization of trees and to understand and read landscape history through the management of trees, studying tree species and forms. So, the study area is in northwest Greece, in Epirus, near the frontier with Albania, in an area that has a, a very diverse uh, vegetation, from uh, summer pastures to, to warm valleys with uh, Mediterranean vegetation, as the prickly oaks. It is the, the less populated area in Greece. Uh, all, although the villages, they still survive, even uh, the population in, every, in each village is uh, something about 20 to 5 people. We have some immigrants the last uh, year, some stone builders from Albania. Uh, we have uh, an aging population, but also we have some economic migrants uh, lifestyle mi migrants, that uh, they are termed, that they are uh, attracted from the Piscurex uh, traditional uh, way of life and they are coming to, to start a life in, uh, in Zagori, uh, trying to have any, something related to tourism. So, our, ethnogra our ethnographic research about trees, 23 villages, 120 informants, 13 common tree species, specimens, as you can see on the right, and we choose some uh, trees um, with criteria, the significance for everyday life, economic value, presence in the landscape, commonness and symbolic association. We had the three, score, three scoring, so we ask people to, uh, to, to tell the value the, uh, about the tree, scoring uh, with one the lower and the five the higher, and we have some th free lists. So we ask people to just uh, to tell us about uses and values of trees. And uh, we could have uh, multiple statements for every tree. So I think for uh, the most we had is uh, 18 different uses and values for one tree. And that uh, added with, uh, as you can see, a lot of statements about uh, use or not use value. Our results show that uh, there are some trees that they lose their value. There are some trees, actually only one, that uh, it gains value from, uh, from uh, younger people. And there are some trees that uh, we found no significant scoring, scoring change. So we would like to combine all our results to see what was going on. The free listing gave us a result that was quite important, that uh, uh, the most people uh, value the, the trees because of the use value. Uh, but the young generation uh, could mention only half of the values that the, the fathers and the old fathers or the old mothers could mention. Uh, as you can see, we have no so big changes in the intangible values. And in the last column, you can see that there are some, uh, some, uh, uh, some knowledge that is lost. So here are, are all the trees and are all the values, are, are all the use values. So we see that we, are, we have grazing. When I mean grazing, I mean the, the foliage fodder that the people take from trees. We have firewood, we have edible uh, fruits, we have art, artifacts that I spelled correct, uh, wrongly. We have timber, only walnut and uh, black pine and uh, fir. 
we have some medical uh, uses and we have dye, natural colors. So, what we saw was that uh, all the, the trees that were related to timber, uh, to timber and wood, uh, there are, uh, the values are decreasing. Uh, all the, the timber industry is not going very well in this remote area. Um, the foliage fodder it is replacing by hay, and uh, the old people, uh, it's easier for them to buy wood uh, and not to, not to go to the forest to cut. And about uh, artifacts, uh, most of them there are uh, uh, introduced from China or from nearby towns, and uh, very few people, they do something like uh, sefer uh, sticks from uh, uh, Cornelian uh, cherry wood that is very, very strong. Oh. <laughs> but we have, we have another image uh, for the non-wood forest products because, uh, for example, uh, you can see the Cornelian cherry that now is very, very highly appreciated in Greece because of uh, big concentration in vitamin C. Uh, and local people, they do some liqueurs and they sell it to tourists. But uh, I think the, the, big, the, the big thing is the mushrooms because uh, we have uh, in this area now five years a mushroom club and they organize festival every year and they attract people to go and collect mushrooms. And also we have some companies that they work legally and they use gypsies to collect mushrooms, mainly cantharels, cantharels kibarius and boletus, and to sell them uh, dry or fresh in uh, Central Europe. And also you have uh, medical plants like the, the tea from uh, Tilia, from lime. We have uh, bees that uh, they, people move them in uh, different forests uh, during the year. And also you have some uh, young ladies that uh, they, they started again to make uh, things with wool and to, uh, to use uh, the colors of uh, the trees that was uh, totally lost the 10 years ago. So we see that uh, the large-lived lime, that was the tree, the only tree valued more highly by younger generation, was that one that has a new value, the medical property, that is very well uh, uh, reappraisal uh, by young people because of all this uh, fashion of uh, herbal medicine, natural wild foods, and traditional cuisines, which appears as a new lifestyle. On the contrary, the prickly oak, Quercus coxifera, that was a, a cultural dominant tree in the past, because it, uh, all the local economy was based on that tree, uh, it used all the value. And the worst situation, where some trees like the the hornbeam, the Carpinus orientalis, or the manas, Fraxinus, uh, that uh, not only they use uh, the value, they use value, but also they use the, the name. So the people are not able to, to mention any value, and also some uh, young people, they are not able to, te to tell what this name is, means, or uh, to, to identify the tree. And we have um, another tree that we have no, uh, no difference between generations, that is the plane tree, Platanus orientalis. This tree has few use values in, in the past, but uh, young people are not able to, to say anyone. But this tree has, another, uh, has a lot of intangible values because I think it is the most social tree of uh, Greece. In all, the, in all the squares, all the things that are, play, that are taking place under the shade of a, a platanus tree. And also, uh, it, is, it is thought that uh, this tree goes uh, uh, along with the community, so the, the village founders uh, build, uh, build the community and they plant a tree. So all the, the social life of the community is related to this tree, and so it's another kind, we have no use values, but we have another kind of values. And they have some conclusions. 
in Zagori. Change in glad use and lower dependency on local environments is reflected on a loss of local knowledge and changes in valuation of trees. Formerly cultural dominant trees, as the prickly oaks, are the ones that have most no noticeably lost value and for which erosion of local knowledge is most dramatic. Trees, the species themselves are much less threatened than the knowledge about them. For example, um, we have a lot of regeneration of oak uh, woods in Greece, but what we lost is the, the forms of management. Uh, we lost the threaded forms of these trees, we lost the ways of management, and what we, uh, what we have at, uh, at the end is that we have a, a very dense uh, oak wood, uh, but nobody's got there, so it's very dense and it's very vulnerable to wildfires. And the last one, traditional uses that support the new lifestyle of natural foods and traditional cuisines are appreciated highly by young generation. Uh, I would like to, to finish saying that we have a, a project until 2015 in Zagori. Uh, we are studying the sacred uh, groves that they exist in the area, so we'll have the opportunity to do some research to, to support uh, this uh, job that, that you are doing uh, here. Thank you very much.